Uh, the aim from this video is to tell something about how to transport audio signals properly on very long wires. The classical idea is this. Here we have an audio amplifier with a loudspeaker. But it could be that this loudspeaker is mounted approximately 10 meters away from the audio amplifier. So here and here we have a 10 meter long wire. It could be that when there is no, not enough damping on that 10, 10 meter long wire, uh, the audio amplifier starts to oscillate. That was also the problem here that I encountered when I made this circuit. And that's the reason why I mounted here a resistor from 28 ohms. Parallel to the loudspeaker. And after that the problem was gone. Uh, the amplifier did not oscillate any longer. By the way, this is my book Schematics 2 Audio Amplifiers and Loudspeaker Boxes. You can find it through the website. Gives a lot of insight uh, when you want to make audio amplifiers. Hope it's visible. My camera zooms in and out, etc. etc. I think it's a good book that gives a lot of information and uh, hi fi is not the focus in this book. Only how to make a properly sounding audio amplifiers with a good sound. So hi fi is what you want and what you need. Okay, back to the the the, the aim from this long wires when we send in into a, a wire long or short an audio signal uh, we have to take in account that there is capacitance between one and the other wire there's also capacitance from the input to the output and of course there's also inductance you can consider such a wire here as a coil and also this wire you can consider as a coil so all the typical properties from coils and capacitors come together when you want to send an audio signal on a long wire damping a limited frequency band, the amplification uh, goes down. For instance, when you have um, a wire here from a very long length, 100 meters or 200 meters or one kilometer, uh, it will damp the signal. There is DC resistance, AC resistance and capacitance. That means in real that when you send in here uh, a proper audio signal, at the end of the wire uh, no audio signal will be present, or a very weak signal, or a signal that's very limited in its frequency band. Um, it all has to do, or can be related to the four pole theory four poles here, two inputs, two outputs. And there is um, a lot of scientific information about the four pole theory. But that's uh, too much for this video. I only wanted to point out that uh, when we, you want to send an audio signal on long wires, you have to do with damping, etc., etc. Here's a classical uh, two transistor output stage with an output cap. 
and to prevent oscillation uh, this resistor is mounted and this cap is mounted. One up to 10 ohms, uh, 5 nanofarad up to 10 nanofarad or so. And when you want to um, send an audio signal on very long wires, make it always a low impedance. So this is a low impedance output, 10 ohms or so. And then you can use a very long wire, 20 meters, 30 meters, 50 meters. At the end you pick up the signal uh, parallel to a resistor from 1K and then use it again, send it into an audio amplifier. And you don't suffer from noise, hum, etc, etc, because the whole line is low impedance. The only problem is that you can hear sometimes clicks on that low impedance line uh, caused by, for instance, electromotors, vacuum cleaners, um, refrigerators that switch on and off that can induce an electromagnetic click on this low impedance line. But um, in general no problem at all. So when you have um, an extremely long wire from 50 meters or 100 meters you can use this circuit. And here again pick the signal up and amplify it with a normal audio amp, small audio amp. 